Hi Aquarius, it's Meg with Padme's. I'm doing your tarot scope for November 2020. And I first wanted to pull from the animal spirit, the wild unknown. It's this deck. I love it so much. And I got for you the octopus. The octopus is about being super sensitive and really super smart, super sensitive, but then also um, having to be careful about boundaries, whether they're your boundaries or whether they're other people's boundaries. It also has to do with um, being drained, other people taking your energy or you giving so much that you're drained. You're giving so much to other people that it drains you. So keeping that in mind while we look at the rest of your, your tarot scope for November, 2020. And I also, when I was shuffling, the first card that jumped out was the Page of Swords. So we'll just put her right here and see what else comes out for your tarot scope for November 2020. We're calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because we don't want to talk to anyone else. And let's see what we have here for you, Aquarius, November 2020. All right. The first thing that, hmm, the first thing that's jumping out to me, this wants to come out too. Fabulous, we put her right there. Hmm. The first thing that wants to come out here is the heart of the situation. And we've got, it's almost like a manifesting, but it's like, I don't even know what to manifest. I don't even know what the right thing to manifest is. And here, your guides are like jumping out. Hey, just give, you know, the six of pentacles. It's like, go ahead and put it all out there. You don't have to be so concise. Just put out the feeling that you want to have with the situation and let that be enough. You don't have to give it a name and make it look exactly the way that you want it to just you want it to feel the way you want it to feel let the universe do its job it knows a lot more and has a lot more uh examples that we could ever give our personality selves could ever give right so go ahead and put it out there and go ahead and manifest away it's like i'm holding off manifesting because i'm not sure exactly how to say it or what to say and the universe is like, just say it and say it loud, say it proud, say a whole bunch of things. Manifest all sorts of things. You don't even have to focus on one thing at a time. So that's what's going on there at the heart of the situation. Um, also, what's coming up is your calling, something having to do with your calling. So if you, if this is about your purpose and identifying what your purpose is or what it is that you're here to do. What I also want to say is it's not just one thing. You're here to do several different things. We have soul lessons and we learn our soul lessons through our relationships and through our experiences. But this in particular is talking about your purpose or the thing that you're here to do or you know what you're here to express outward. There are several of them. And go ahead and do those things that make you feel inspired. The funny thing is your trajectory is literally the, the ace of inspiration. It's the ace of wands. So this is about what brings you passion. What brings you passion, Aquarius? You can always tell you're on your lit path when you are happy and you are inspired and you're doing the things that are inspiring you. And you can tell when you're not on your path because it doesn't feel good. It just doesn't feel good. Okay, Aquarius, let's look at your past, present, and future. In the past, here's the page of inspiration, page of wands. And so some door has opened for you. And maybe that's why you're like, oh, but there's this and this. I feel like you're trying to make a choice when you don't need to make a choice. It's like, you can do all of these things. You can manifest all these things and there's no need to wait. Okay, present. Yeah, again, here's the high priestess. And the wheel of fortune, but it's reversed. 
So it's like, I feel like timing is at play here. I feel like I need to keep all of this within me and wait for the perfect time. And for whatever reason, the perfect time is now. And it doesn't have anything to do with making a decision between one thing or another thing. It feels like you can have both or you need both in your life right now, or you can very well do both. <clears throat> that doesn't mean you have to do both forever but it does feel like you need to do both of those things now. Or maybe there's even three things. There are three things um, you have happening now and into the near future, the seven of pentacles. And this is nurturing something. So there's something, if you've started it because of this open door in the past, it's not time to relinquish it. It's not time to let it go yet. It's not time to make a decision and choose something else. It's time to continue nurturing and nourishing the thing that you've already started and then starting up a new thing also. So it's not like, I mean, you might just be busy in the month of November, Aquarius, because you're not supposed to be giving anything up. All right, release the idea that you are not gonna have time to communicate with other people that you love. Release the idea that you're not gonna have time to have fun and have joy and have celebration, or even that you're not gonna be able to celebrate because of something. Release that idea. It's just, it feels fear-based. Also, you have resistance to things moving slowly. The Knight of Pentacles in your resistance. So uh, let's see, what do I have to say about you about resistance to moving slowly. Ooh. Right. It's like uh, the reason it's almost like moving fast helps you to not deal with things. And what November is asking you to do is actually deal with things and continue to do things. It's like sometimes when we have to deal with things, we get more slow, we get slower, we get more intrinsic, we deal with our emotions, we deal with the process. This is like, no, when you go fast, you're not dealing with things. So you need to continue going forward with all this stuff, even if you are having to process, even if you're tired, it's like, just go through, do everything. I'm not saying don't rest. I'm just saying, don't escape. Don't catapult out of your body, don't escape. And it is important to be celebrating and be celebrating your victories. And your victories are just recognizing what inspires you. This funny thing. Okay, so the, the hanged man is the big picture. And this is the muse deck. So it's the hanged muse. But here she is hanging out. Kind of the universe has her hanging out waiting for something. But the thing is... The recognition or the spiritual recognition that the universe is wanting you to see is that you can do all things and there doesn't have to be a choice. There's some, your higher self is talking about emotional fulfillment, emotional gratification, going with those things that are amazing and wonderful that you love, that inspire you, and not your angels and guides are talking about you not having any regrets for choosing everything that you want. Choose everything that you want. Don't leave anything for anyone else. They have their own things that they can choose. It's not like you're taking something away from somebody else by choosing all these things. And if you're telling yourself you don't have enough time or energy, it's not that November's not the time to make that choice. It's also not the time to rest. It's the time to just do things, even if you're tired, because this seems to be opening doors and letting you off of your waiting period. Your advice is talking about, oh, not worrying about what anybody else thinks. This is your fame card, but it's reversed and it's in your advice. It's like, don't worry about what other people think are popular, think is popular. Or even like what other people think is the best for you. People who love you are trying to tell you what the best thing that you can do is or the best things that you can choose. But ultimately, you have to choose this. Your calling, the things that light your path. You have to be the one who decides that nobody else can do that for you. Even if they think that they're offering you 
advice that's based on your greatest good. You still have to choose it. Choose what's best for you. I'm going to use the Lenormand here. This is the maybe Lenormand. And I want to know more about what's going on in your future. So you have the Ace of Wands in your future. You have all of this divine inspiration that you don't have to make a choice about. You keep the one thing that you've been doing and then you also step into this other thing. But that seems to be coming out into the trajectory. I feel like it hasn't happened just yet, but it does feel like it's happening in November. And, oh, this is interesting. So you have the snake card in Lenormand. On one hand, that's somebody who is trying to deviate you from your path. On the other hand, this is Kundalini energy that is deep and great inspiration energy and self-healing energy. That is your Shakti rising and coming through you, your inspiration coming out into your environment. So that looks really strong. And so worrying about what other people think on this path, you just have to drop it like a hot potato, that advice or information. I will say this, since this was your very first card that came out, she's very observant. She is watching and looking and observing all sorts of things at all times. Can't even help it coming from that place. So what I would say to you, Aquarius, is that listening to other people's opinions is important, getting all the information. But when it comes to actually making a decision, a decision needs to be made from your heart. Your higher self is talking about your ace of cups, your space of the heart. So keep that in mind. I want to know more about what's happening in your present time. No, in your happening now and into the near future. Here we go. And this is this is the tower card, but it's in Lenormand. It's a bit different than uh, tarot. This is about feeling solid and stable and secure and at home. And even if you're feeling like nurturing and growing that thing that you've been working on is perhaps safe or comfortable, it's part of what's happening in the future. It's like leading to this great inspiration that's coming ahead also. It's, it has opened the door in some way. So don't worry about if it feels safe because you don't have to leave it. And I don't even think that that would be a good idea. I think it's good to keep it and to also manifest, manifest more. Okay, does your, your higher self want to say something else? It is talking again about your highest and your greatest achievements, your highest and your greatest good, your star wishes, dreams, ask for everything. Intend for everything that you want to come to you. Yep. This is about being strategic about it. So I see what's happening here. It's like at the very beginning, you have the two of swords and the magician. I'm not sure what I should ask for. So then the six of pentacles came in about your your calling and it's like, ask for everything that you want. So instead of being, oh, I just want it all. You have to be a little bit more specific than one at all. I want to be happy about this. I want to be abundant in this area of my life. I want to have this type of relationship. And then of course, don't say I want or I need, just act as if. So being specific about what you are intending but then being open to receive, basically focus more on how those things make you feel. Okay, I wanna call for your advice. Magpie Oracle, Aquarius, aside from not focusing on what other people think you should be doing, what is this? Here is the sun and the moon. These would be your cycles. So focusing on your own cycles. Hmm. I even want to say death cycles. So that's interesting. So it's like your own cycles of bringing things full circle. And that's why this is coming in. It's like you feel like you have to bring something full circle in order to pull something else or reinvent or open another door. But in this case, that's not the case. Looking at the past, were there times when you didn't have to bring something full circle that you did that you wish you didn't? 
it's almost like kind of some self inquiry around that. Okay, Aquarius, there you have it for November 2020. I hope you have a wonderful month and I will talk to you soon. Looking forward to your tarot scope or your mid month love reading. <laughs>